Okay, okay rock and roll. Okay, quiet on the set. Ultimate match fishing, man. What do you think? Ultimate match fishing is, is one of the most awesome things I've ever done. Uh, it, it's not like any regular event. You know, you're always hyped up or you're stressed out about going into an event. But this is, is, this is totally different. I mean, you're talking about a, a four hour deal, basically, when, it, when it's all said and done. Uh, you have no idea what the guy you're competing against is going to do. Um, you, you just don't know how things are going to play out. And it's, it's probably the most stressful event that I've ever been in. I mean, there was times today where I felt like I could puke all over the boat. You know, I mean, there was times when it was like, I'm going to hyperventilate here. Um, I've never been in, a, in a, an event or a match where you just got the knots in your stomach all day long. It's pretty cool. I got started fishing, you know, years ago. Um, my father is really the one that's responsible for, for me being, you know, basically where I'm at today. He was a tournament fisherman when I was younger, you know, eight, nine, ten years old. And um, he'd leave and go on tournaments, you know, and I'd, I'd be left at home, you know, kicking and crying. And, uh, you know, now that I look back on that, I think that probably made my drive for fishing a lot more, you know, because he didn't, you know, get to take me all the time as he was tournament fishing. Um, you know, so as I got older and started fishing and, you know, we started fishing and spent a lot more time on the water, um, you know, it just led to where we're at today. I got involved in tournament fishing um, be because of my father. Um, I started, you know, basically before I was old enough to drive. Um, he'd take me to the ramp, drop me off, I'd get to practice, do things like that. And when I got old enough to drive, you know, I started fishing um, all the local events, all the, you know, Wednesday night, Thursday night deals, um, anything to, to, to keep me on the water. Um, and that went on for a couple years and, and as I got older, you know, I started doing BFLs and, you know, things like that. Um, bigger, bigger events, you know, trying to get established, maybe make a name for myself. Um, and it, it just kept progressing, you know, went from the BFLs and the local events to ever starts and bass opens and things like that. And, uh, you know, just continued to where I'm at today. Being raised on the Ohio River, um, I think it's made me a tougher fisherman than a lot of guys out here. I'm accustomed to every day going out knowing that I'm fishing for five bites. And I'm not talking about five bites that weigh, you know, 15 to 20 pounds. I'm talking about five bites that weigh six to eight pounds. I mean, on a, on a summer day, you know, when the spawn's done, six to eight pounds is usually going to win anything coming and going, or at least get you a check. You know, so that keeps you focused every single day, you know, every single hour, minute, you know, um, that, that I'm not getting bit to know that it can happen at any minute. You know, where a lot of guys that are accustomed to getting, you know, 20 or 30 bites a day, when it's tough and they're getting six or eight bites a day, they're, they're already spun out before we even start. You know, they think, <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to do this. You know, I'm not getting enough bites to be able to compete. And them are the kind of events I like, you know, knowing that when I go out there, I'm, I'm fishing for six or eight bites, but, you know, hopefully they'll be the right bites. And, and like I said, that just comes from being raised on the high river where it's tough. So when I first started, um, you know, not so much as fishing the, the local stuff, but when I started on the tour, um, I told myself, I said, I'm going to go there and fish just like I know how to do. Um, if, if I can't go there and compete and fish my style, my strength, then I don't need to be there because there's no way that I can survive. Um, so I went and did that my first year and, and did really well and uh, ended up qualifying for the Classic. You know, my second year, I, I kind of listened to the doc talk, tried to do different things, um, didn't fish my game, and I, and I missed the Classic a little bit. Um, so this year, or last season, going into to the tour, and I told my wife, I said, I'm going there and, and I'm doing it my way. And, you know, that's been my best year to date. And it's just by going and fishing the way I'm comfortable and fishing the way I know how um, that I've had the success that I've had.